Jessica Watson captured a place in Australia's heart when at just 16, she sailed solo around the world in 2010. I'm an ordinary girl who believed in her dream. Jessica's amazing achievement was itself inspired by others, especially Lane Beachley, another great Australian who also mastered the oceans. Lane's just that, you know, inspiring female role model in a world, you know, that is, is very male-dominated. So that was always a, a big inspiration to me, is to, to see what she did. And, um, you know, she's one of the guys, but at the same time, you know, she's done something that's, that's pretty amazing. She was there supporting me, which was really lovely, to have somebody who obviously I admired and looked up to, you know, not necessarily saying anything particular, but just there and, and behind me was a really nice thing to have. I was very surprised Jessica named me as one of her inspirations. I'm deeply inspired by Jessica and her exploits. I draw inspiration from seeing people achieve outstanding things, and Jessica's obviously one of those people. So to be named as one of her inspirations is, is outstanding. I mean, it's astonishing, and I'm, I'm very uh, honoured by it. Well, my greatest inspiration as a child and as now as an adult is still my father, my dad Neil. He's just endured so much, but he's always been that pillar of support. He's always been so consistent. So he's been my greatest influence. When I was six years old and I lost my mother, that made me very independent and strong-willed. And I was always a tomboy, so I was always attracted to outdoor activities and doing things that the boys were doing. When I was eight years old, the most profound impact in my life occurred when my dad told me I was adopted. And being told I was adopted had this impact of feeling worthless, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned. And so from that information, I chose to make something of it. And it wasn't always surfing. It was tennis, it was soccer, it was cricket, it was hockey, it was any sport that I loved. But my natural affiliation, my number one passion in life was surfing. So I chose to make a profession out of it, even though it wasn't a viable opportunity, even though my school teachers told my dad to lock up my surfboard and make me concentrate on my studies. I love proving people wrong, and I managed to do that. But it wasn't without hard work and dedication and commitment. But I just wanted to become a world champion to prove to the world that I was worthy of love. Out of all the world titles I won, I'd have to say the first one was the most satisfying because that's all I felt. I felt this overwhelming sense of relief and satisfaction because I'd been claiming to the world for 16 years that I was going to become a world champion. But the most special world title was my seventh one because it just took an enormous amount of courage and dedication and belief and surrender to win it. I love celebrating Australia Day now. I'm probably one of the most parochial, proud Australians. <laughs> Thousands of people used to converge on the Opera House stairs and we used to have a race across and it was the first activity on Australia Day in Sydney and we used to shut down the harbour. The ferries couldn't operate between 7.30 and 9 and we used to paddle across the harbour on longboards and it was a great way to start the day. Jess is a kindred spirit because she has so much courage, she's so brave, she's so willing to put herself out there and try. Um, she's such a pioneer. Um, she doesn't allow external factors to define who she is or what she's capable of. That to me is definitely a kindred spirit because that's how I live my life. To see her as a 16 year old jump in that little boat and have the courage and conviction and also with the support that she had to enable her to sail around the world and be the youngest person to sail around the world solo is an extraordinary effort and deserves all the accolades and all the tension and all the respect and recognition that she receives because she's a rule breaker, she's a game changer, she's a thought leader, she's a renegade and uh, I love that spirit. The biggest thing I learned and the thing that I hope people can take away from the voyage is Look at me, I was a girl who was scared of the water, who was very ordinary, and I sailed around the world. Uh, I like that that says anyone can do anything. You know, you don't have to be a certain type of person to achieve something. It doesn't have to be sailing around the world. It doesn't have to be something big and dramatic at all. Whatever your dream is, um, I think we so often say we can't do that, or I can't be one of those people, you know, in books, on TV. Um, but you can, you can, you've got to take it and work back from it and tell yourself you can do it. <laughs>